I'm from Waverly, as I said, and my poem is called Typical. Being a teenage girl, a typical, oh my God, she did not just go there. Teenage girl is rough. Oh, it is. War does not even come close to the tragedy scrawled across the lines of a girl's diary. Typical, like the ex-boyfriend that is so much of a controlling jerk that even though you're broken up, he still thinks he can tell you who you can and can't talk to, who you can and can't be, slowly strangling you with his need to be in control. Typical, like those best friends who are always edging around to your back, knife securely grasped in their hand, poised and ready to strike. Typical, like those average, pervy, run-of-the-mill teenage boys with nothing more on their mind than the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow of incessant begging, and if that pot of gold is still just a little out of reach, their base will do just fine. Typical, like parents hovering over your every move, gently nudging you into pouring over books for hours at a time, yellow highlighters squeezed tightly in your hand like a life preserver in the ocean of knowledge until finally you're standing over a body carefully dissected by your hand, and as you start to choke on the panic, you wonder why on earth would your parents want this for you? Typical, like picking out your clothes for hours at a time, hoping to find something that stands out, something that screams individuality, but not too loud. Something that echoes the looks plastered across magazine covers and says just who you think you should be. Typical, like caking your face with makeup, tied any trace of an imperfection, tied any fear or vulnerability that makes you weak, tied anything that makes you, you. But here's the thing, typical's a lie, a plastic insecurity, typical's molds. Molds always seem to tell you that you have one curve too many, or your eyes are too far apart, or your hair is just not right, or you run like a three-legged camel, or you are just so weird. Molds that you have to twist and turn and scrunch and suck in until pop. Either you finally fit and everyone loves you, or your mold broke. And as you stare at the shattered remains, hoping no one saw yet, secretly hoping everyone is watching, thoughts start moving, swirling with the motion and force of the ocean. The commotion is almost too much until finally it dawns on you. You're free. You find yourself laughing and smiling. You find yourself dancing down the hallways with no music except for the happiness singing through your veins. You find that life is good. And now when someone tries to force you into their mold, proudly say, yes, I have curves and they are beautiful. Yeah, my eyes may be a little too far apart, but I don't mind. No, my hair isn't just right. It's perfect, just the way I like it. And yes, I may run like a three-legged camel, but you know what? It gives me character. And yes, of course, I love a big, fat, juicy hamburger with all the fixings, especially bacon, and a big old mountain of french fries and a little puddle of ketchup. And yes, baby, I am weird. But being weird is so much more fun than being typical. <laughs>